Hello, um, this will be a figure painting video of first 1 to 30 second scale figures, including Mr. George S. Patton, right here, say hello, and a 1 to 35th scale figure, which I got in this set as well. Hold on, let me get the light closer. So you can see better Happy Halloween. And if this is uploaded on Halloween, it's recorded on Happy Halloween. Halloween. Um, we have some German music in the background, although these are Americans. I just realized that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be painting these guys. Now we're going to be starting with this guy since his face is pretty. Actually. No, let's start with him. Alright, we're going to be painting figures, but faces for the most part. For the most detailed part. For this guy, we are going to get paint out. Okay, now, going to get some Bleho color. Bleho. Bleho colors, sorry. German Field Grey World War II. I'm going to put it here where this red is. Just a bit. Maybe that was a bit too much, but now we're gonna get dark green German camo. Put some in it. Yes, German colors for American. I don't know if something worked, but it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Now to lighten it up, some apple bill antique white matte finish for the clothing. Yeah, that might be too much, but anyway. Mix it and hope that it's good enough color and mm, looks pretty fine for a base for a base color. I already primed them with gray uh, uh, pewter gray apple barrel matte finish so going to paint this guy here Ooh, that looks gray compared to gray hmm. we'll highlight it with some uh, darker green guess I don't need to highlight this guy with any uh, darker colors need or with brighter colors it's gonna be darker this is how I paint my figures by the way not how you should but this will help you I hope we'll leave them we'll just like scatter some around my pants okay now I'm going to be painting all of these guys at once since this is for a 1 to 30 second scale Renoir tank. Yeah, a uh, blueprint one. One company went out of business. I'm surprised I got it. It's from the same guy I got the Sherman. Oh, I'm painting it above the camera. Just going to paint it all the way down to there in case I uh, miss the thing. Trying to paint it in your guys' field of view. But it's kind of hard because I'm behind the camera. Also, don't forget, I'm only three subscribers away from 100, where I will do a face reveal. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to uh, get the bottom here. Alright, for the 1 to 30 second skill soldier. Now, I didn't, it was in the same box, but it's not supposed to be. Oops. It's 
fun. Holding him by the gun may be not the best idea, but it will work. Okay, this is all one piece too. And it's really old. Like I said, it's out, this company's out of business. The mold isn't really necessarily good in any way. This one might be better since I don't think it's Renoir. But... Alright, I think he's got painted now. Last but not least, George Patton. Going to paint. We're going to be going into depth on him because he has the hair. Which will be my first time in a while painting hair on a figure. I don't think I have. Actually, on, um, like, parts where the helmet or cap doesn't cover. But not full on, no helmet on. Now, so look at the arm. How it's molded. This is Renoir. Since it's a patent tank, came with patent. I think that's pretty cool. Just going to go over his face with a light color because that I should have done primed it with a lighter color. All right, now we can use this to make it a darker color. But all right, so let's get our main guy back. Let's brush off the uh, parts that we kind of got all the details out, flooding him with paint. Out of some of it just because of the poor thing. See, look, that hand. It's, that's all it is, is just that blob. Yeah, it is. Huh. Okay, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um, We're just going to get some more of this dark green. Yeah, to get it there. And put it in. Camera kind of looks like black, but it's dark green. And this will get a darker color. Yeah. And we will keep doing this until it looks good. Now, on my other American soldiers, I actually did better. Because I got the perfect all jump. You should actually let these this coat dry first. So, I'm going to just pause the video, and then I'll be back to you later. Alright, we are back. I was playing some Water Dance Blitz. Don't know if there's going to be a video about it or not. Um, decided just to paint this guy on camera. Maybe I'll do the face stuff with, uh, Patton, but on camera, I'm just painting this guy, so... So we are going to want to just go over him, make the paint darker. Then just some plain this stuff. I think no, that's gonna be for the face. Wipe it off first. This brush. Going to try to get some darker color and blend it in. Not specifically too much on the helmet. Just blend it all in. Then, going to just one squeeze. Then that gives you a nice rough look. Maybe some of the print mark comes out, so it makes it look kind of 
whole bunch of my god. One fucking so I'm trying to look back. Okay. Have a bit of built up paint here. No idea what this is supposed to be right here. Alright, um I'm going to do this to the rest of the figures and I will be back with you.